Hello and welcome to Draw It and Know It. I'm cartoonist Dan Letha, and this is our art lesson edition. Today, we're gonna to do a step-by-step -step how to draw a unicorn. So let's get going. For today's drawing, I'm gonna be using my digital drawing board, and I'm gonna be using two different colored lines. Now you can use a pencil for the blue lines, and you can use a marker for the black, for the black lines. And so, um, these blue lines, again, are just simple guidelines that I'm going to use to uh, build our unicorn on. And um, so just draw them lightly or just make, you know, pencil lines and then you can draw over them later with, uh, with marker. And so we've started out with three kind of oval egg circle-ish shapes. <laughs> so copy those the best you can. You don't have to get them exact. And then the leg goes right there. And then again, these are just simple guidelines to get started. And the rear leg line kind of curves that way. And then we start down here, go up for the other rear leg. Then the one behind, we're just going to draw one line for that for now. And now I think we're going to take some time to switch over to our black marker. So go get your marker and uh, get ready to start making some some dark lines because we're going to do the real drawing now. Now that we've got our skeleton going, we're going to draw one ear right there. And then we're going to draw another ear actually after the top of the head. And then the next ear goes right there. And then the inside of the ear. And then the back of the head right there. And then we're going to draw the horn. Now this unicorn is a little bit different from the one you're probably used to thinking of. We're going to talk about that a little bit as we draw this creature. But this creature is known by the name Elasmotherium. And this is a real creature, a real animal that lived in history. In fact, you can find this thing in some museums. So we draw the snout and then the mouth and this guy is smiling and then we draw the nostril right there and then the top of the nostril and then we draw the bottom jaw, the bottom lip and then jaw and it goes almost all the way to the other part. Alright, so for the neck we're gonna connect it right there to the to the chest and then the front of the front leg down that way we're just kind of following the, the blue lines or my your pencil lines then we add a little extras every once in a while okay so the one foot go down across then up and then we can trace this line for the belly And then the other leg is behind. And he's kind of got that one up. And so then we add the foot to the end of that. And then we draw a little line just to show the upper and lower parts of that leg. And now the front of the rear leg, right there. And then the back of that rear leg kind of curves around all the way up there. Okay, and now we're going to draw the, the back. Just kind of trace that as best you can. You don't have to be perfect at it. And now the the rear leg foot. And then the other leg that's behind. another curved line for the rest of that leg and then we're gonna add the toes and so you kind of make these M looking things or just some arch arch curves right next to each other and then one more if you draw one you can draw the rest because they're all pretty much the same very good okay and now the tail. This guy just had a little dinky tail. All right, 
right, now what are we missing? Hmm. Oh, the eye. Let's draw the eye. All right, just a little circle right there. A little the top of the eye, kind of an eyebrow thing. And then the eye itself. We draw a little circle for the reflection, the shiny part of the eye, and then we fill in the rest of it. And there you have the eye. And then we're going to draw some shadows. So as we draw these shadows, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this creature. And uh, the unicorns that we have in our culture these days are these horse-like creatures, and they have horns on them. But if you look back in the old, old dictionaries in the 1800s, and you look up the word unicorn, it'll tell you that it's a rhinoceros. And um, so there's some rhinoceroses that have two horns, and there's some rhinoceroses that have one horn. And so it calls the one horn rhinoceros a unicorn. And there's, um, there's a unicorn mentioned in the Bible, in, in the King James Version, it talks about a unicorn. And so some people kind of laugh at the Bible and say, oh, the Bible can't be true because it's got unicorns in there and everybody knows they're not real. But if you look into history, you'll see that a rhinoceros was called a unicorn. And there was a big, big rhinoceros that lived um, maybe in the days of Noah and Adam and Eve. And, and it's, it's, it's extinct now, but um, we have fossils of it. And it was a big, big rhinoceros. It had one big horn on it. And um, some creationists think that this unicorn or this rhinoceros is the unicorn mentioned in the Bible. And um, the, the King James Version mentions the word unicorn uh, nine times in different books. And so I think that the unicorn in the Bible was a very big creature and it possibly could have been the Elasmotherium, the, uh, the creature that um, even scientists today call the Siberian unicorn. So how about that? The, um, the unicorn may have been real. I think it was because the Bible talks about it that way but I think it looked a little bit different than the one that we see in stores and books and t-shirts and stuff. It may have been this big creature called Elasmotherium. So thank you for drawing with me today, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.